in the morning, a show that runs from 7 to 10 a.m. every day. That's Monday all the way through Friday with different themes, but I'll explain all of that later. But now with me in studio, I tried to give you uh, small snippets of, of his accolades. He's incredibly brilliant <laughs> i'm a little bit starstruck but i will introduce him first of all with his accolades but just to name a few so he has over 24 25 years experience in media and the broadcast sector in 2010 did you know he was awarded the moran of the order of the burning spear by the president for his outstanding contribution to the country now guys i don't know if you'd allow me to clap by myself, you can join in. <laughs> Allow me to clap for the one and only Dr. Ezekiel Wotua. Welcome to the show, Dr. Thank Adam. you. Valerie. Yes, it is very good to meet you. I've only just been seeing you, good to see you too. On, on TV. <laughs> yes. yes, would you like to say hello to the viewers or should you just... Yes, good morning, uh -huh. viewers, and welcome to the program. Thank you so very much. Now, Dr. Ari, uh, we know you are the CEO of MCSK. That is the Music Copyright... Um, Society of Kenya. Yes. yes. But we don't this is a channel that based or we focus on the youth and yes. the youth is uh, that one person who's just come out of high school or is in high school and f he feels or she feels that they have a, a talent that they want to explore maybe after they finish the certain level of education mm -hmm. but they really don't know how to go about it yes. and there's always Either some kind of news around royalties. I, I, there's a big number out there, 20 million. So we're trying to figure out what is this 20 million? How did it uh, get to where it is right now? How is it going to trickle down to the people? But maybe let's start with what does MCSK do? Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for inviting me. You're this is welcome. an incredible program. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to be here thank and you. to know that this is a uh, uh, this program focuses on the youth. Yes. I think uh, this is very good to ensure that uh, we start conversations with the people who matter because 75% of our population is below 35, mm. they are youth. And uh, that's the greatest asset that we have as a country. So we value the youth and uh, when it comes to this area of talent, th really, it is youth driven. Mm -hmm. It's our youth who are incredibly talented, it's our youth who are very innovative, uh, and therefore, the base, really, if we wanted to grow the economy, mm -hmm. we have to focus on them. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy to be here. Okay. MCSK is uh, a company limited by guarantee, mm -hmm. 40 years old. Mm -hmm. It was founded in 1983 mm -hmm. as a collective management organization, CMO. Mm -hmm. CMOs globally, they are organizations that belong to artists. Mm -hmm. It's like a chama for artists. Wow. They come together, mm -hmm. pull together and use the leverage on the uh, CMO to collect and distribute royalties on their behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, for the reason that an artist individually may not be able to go to every place where their music is used. Mm -hmm. Music is played in matatus. Mm -hmm. Uh, an, an artist may not go to every matatu and stop them and check whether they have a license mm. for playing their music. Music is played in clubs, in mm. salons, in restaurants, in bars, and so on. Mm -hmm. An artist may not individually go to all those places and inspect whether they have a license. Uh, broadcasting stations play music, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and uh, therefore, artists rely on CMOs, like mm -hmm. Music Corporate Society of Kenya, to collect and distribute uh, on their behalf. But music business is an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It requires many players to work together. Mm -hmm. One player cannot succeed alone. Okay. The artist will not succeed if there is no conducive environment mm -hmm. or le legislative framework to protect their music, protect their intellectual property and their copyright, mm -hmm. and uh, also ensure that where there is infringement mm -hmm. or unauthorized use of their music, mm -hmm. then there is a law that is applied okay. and enforcement is done. If the government does not uh, provide that conducive environment to protect uh, piracy, then the government will have failed the artist, even okay. if they have good music. The artist must also produce good music mm -hmm. and market that music and mm -hmm. be a good brand, respectable brand. Mm -hmm. Not uh, these uh, guys of Matusi, and, and the crazy things like uh, the ones I'm seeing from Kisi mm. and other places, no. Uh, <laughs> people should be respectable brands. Okay. In other countries, if you mm. look at uh, 
even some of the brands that have dominated the world, mm -hmm. uh, Rihanna, I think, uh, came into the limelight when she was very young. Yes. And uh, by the time she was in her 20s, mm -hmm. she was a billionaire. Yes. All right? Because she branded herself well, she understands the issues affecting our community and mm -hmm. the American society, and she's singing things that resonate with mm -hmm. the youth, resonate with the community. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael ja uh, Jackson mm -hmm. was also very young. Mm -hmm. Majority of the artists that have grown to become billionaires, mm -hmm. the Jay-Z's of this world, the Beyonce's of this world, mm -hmm. their people started young. Then they, they branded themselves properly. Mm -hmm. they, 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 and they, they used their talent, but talent with knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because again, you can be gifted in the business or in the in the you can be gifted as a as a musician mm -hmm. but you're not gifted as a business person mm -hmm. so you need also to have an ancient mm -hmm. and a mentor mm -hmm. and somebody to package you mm -hmm. to know how to behave to know what kind of songs to produce mm -hmm. songs that resonate with your culture mm -hmm. with your the values of your country mm -hmm. and so on so that you become a respectable brand mm -hmm. you can be invited to perform mm -hmm. in corporate events you can be invited to perform in uh, you know, you do, to, to, to do collabs with other, 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 other brands and other organizations. Mm -hmm. So the branding element is very critical mm -hmm. and it also matters. Mm -hmm. Then there's the work of the CMOs, for example, mm -hmm. who must also be very active uh, to collect mm -hmm. and distribute your money. They are the ones who have entrusted with the work of collecting and distributing the money on mm -hmm. your behalf. Mm -hmm. Let me say royalty collection by CMOs is not the only source of income. Right now with digital media, you can monetize your content on mm -hmm. digital platforms, on uh, Spotify, on Bundo, mm -hmm. on Boomplay. Mm -hmm. You can sign with YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you, have a, you, are, you, you grow your numbers and you're popular, mm -hmm. you're a celebrity, then your numbers grow and you're being paid by YouTube, you're being paid by all those other digital platforms. Mm -hmm. You can, mon uh, you can uh, be paid by Skiza Tunes. You know, that's another revenue stream. Mm -hmm. So there are so many other revenues. And you must understand, as a youth or as a talented person, the laws governing that environment. We must take business uh, of music so seriously that we read more, understand more. Because even the other professions, lawyers, engineers, accountants, mm -hmm. when you're getting to that area, you read the laws governing that area. Mm -hmm. Journalism, you read the laws governing that area. But in music, we take it for granted. Somebody just has a mouth and some talent, mm -hmm. and you don't want to read the laws that govern that environment. You mm -hmm. don't want to have a mentor, an agent that can guide you. And you realize that by lacking men mentors, or mentors as they call them in French, mm -hmm. uh, you end up becoming irresponsible. You end up getting into drugs. A lot of people, they do one song, they become very famous. They get into drugs. Mm -hmm. They become ungovernable. They become uh, unadvisable. Mm -hmm. You cannot uh, tell them anything. Mm -hmm. It gets into their head. Mm -hmm. And I think the important thing is to know that the, uh, to whom much is given, much is expected. expected. So one needs to be humble. Mm -hmm. You need to be a role model mm -hmm. for society, mm -hmm. to, for others, so that you can utilize your brand mm -hmm. and your talent to make money. So mm -hmm. it's an ecosystem, like I said, mm -hmm. and if you recognize that this is a talent like football, mm -hmm. this is talent like, uh, you know, how do I put it, like athletics, mm -hmm. there are rules that govern that area. In football, uh, there are rules of the game, mm -hmm. how you play, how you train, mm -hmm. you don't get into into drugs, mm -hmm. you don't insert, insert your club, you don't insert your referee, you don't insert the federation. Mm -hmm. they, are di they are rules of discipline. And if you belong to Gormaya and you are not happy with Gormaya, you can live and join AFC Leopards. Mm -hmm. you, you, you market your brand and you sell your trade, mm -hmm. your, your, your talent, where it is appreciated and you are paid. Mm -hmm. So you are always looking for how can you make more money out of your talent while you are young? Mm -hmm. So I, I, want, I want artists uh, or musicians to know that they are not different. This is talent, mm -hmm. like football, like mm -hmm. athletics. Mm -hmm. When you go to athletics, everybody belongs to athletics Kenya. Mm -hmm. And there are rules of the game. Mm -hmm. You don't do doping. You don't do this. Mm -hmm. You cannot insult the federation mm -hmm. or the, the, uh, the athletics uh, federation of Kenya. You go to play by the rules and have discipline and have people who oversight you and who tell you what to do 
when to train, mm -hmm. you have your coach, you have your people who, who, who oversight you, mm -hmm. and you humble yourself to be mended and to be grown. Mm -hmm. So this is where the youth in music lose it. Mm -hmm. go, they go on their own. Mm -hmm. It's one man tangent. business. Uh -huh. And a lot of them do not make the money they should make because they lack mentorship. That's where now this awareness comes in, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy that, that you invited me to mm -hmm. your program to create this awareness. It's very important. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, because he, I'm um, actually very surprised, Doctor, you've named a couple of people. I did not know you could name drop Rihanna, <laughs> uh, Jay Z's of this world. Yes, but yes. just maybe to to also drop just one. Oh, you want me to mention Davido? <laughs> ah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. And there's <laughs> one name <laughs> I'd like to drop just <laughs> to ask you, just for the sake of of um, curiosity. Let me call it that. So apparently, there, there was a, a again maybe. They say ukiimba ni ni So yeah. you're you're basically translating what you see happening on the ground. And kuna mtu alimba songa kasema watu wasikia vibaya noko. Na I saw you people reconciled publicly. So that's going. Not okay. reconciliation. I mean, I advise the youths the way I'm advising them today. Mm -hmm. So I've nothing, no beef, no you didn't your grudge with anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, the song kasikia vibaya, you know it. Mm -hmm. uh, a boy dates a girl. Mm -hmm. They break up. Mm -hmm. and uh, the girl starts dating the father. I think mm -hmm. that's a conversation. Yeah. That's a context of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, you may say it's a real story, but I don't think I, I, I would envisage a situation mm -hmm. where uh, we are chiding the boy and telling him, While these are things that happen in society, mm -hmm. they are evils, mm -hmm. they are ills of mm -hmm. society, vices that we should demonize, mm -hmm. not glorify. Mm -hmm. But when you say, Kaskia vibaya na uko, my my take, mm -hmm. and this is my own interpretation, mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I went to school and that's why I'm an elder, mm -hmm. to advise them, mm -hmm. is that it's wrong. You can't glorify murder, you can't glorify uh, rape. Mm -hmm. There are bad things, they happen, mm -hmm. and we are aware, mm -hmm. but you don't glorify them mm -hmm. or, or, or bring them in a context that looks like you're saying it's cool mm -hmm. to do that. Because if you say Nikona Pezan and Babako, I think there's a context in which even some of the cases of suicide that we are seeing today mm -hmm. and the femicide, mm -hmm. they are out of those kind of situations. So it's not something to be happy about. Mm -hmm. It's not something to gross about. Mm -hmm. It's something that we should be ashamed of and demonize it mm -hmm. and condemn it rather than appear to glorify it. That's the context of my whatever. So there's no reconciliation mm -hmm. or, or condemnation. It's just a device. Mm -hmm. Sing songs that promote moral values. Mm -hmm. Produce content that promotes our culture. Mm -hmm. Do not uh, glorify or normalize mm -hmm. uh, evil and bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes, it happens. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk to some of these people, they tell you, but uh, it's the truth. Kuna mbaba. Kuna wababa wanategia wasikia na wadogo na kathalika. It happens. Mm -hmm. So does murder, robbery, and all those other evils. Mm -hmm. We don't sing to glorify them. Mm -hmm. you, don't you don't glorify rape. You demonize it. You call it out. Mm -hmm. You condemn it. Mm -hmm. And so I would expect more of condemnation not normalization, not mm -hmm. glorification mm -hmm. of those kind of vices in society. Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, I think, misleading to say there was any reconciliation. Mm -hmm. I stand to advise the youth. Okay. Everyone has a responsibility, if you are an adult, mm -hmm. if you are a parent, to advise our youth to produce content that promotes our culture and our values. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we will have no country. If you are to promote those kind of things, if that was your brother, mm -hmm. and they were being chided like that, and being mocked, mm -hmm. and they commit suicide, would you be happy? No. Because in a real situation, mm -hmm. if you someone took their, uh, their son's girlfriend mm -hmm. and uh, they were sleeping with them and giving the money, and the girlfriend is touting uh, the son, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or the former boyfriend, mm. I mean, it's, it's evil, mm. it's wickedness, mm. and we are glorifying these things. And uh, we are now ending up in a society that has no moral values. Mm -hmm. And if we destroy the morals of our nation, mm -hmm. we'll have no country. Nations rise or fall on the basis of their moral values. Mm -hmm. And our, our artists who are talented, they need to know, this talent is from God. God gave you this talent. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are influential because of your talent. Mm -hmm. Use it. Use it. Don't use it recklessly. Mm -hmm carelessly, mm -hmm. in a cavalier way, mm -hmm. use it to build society, mm -hmm. not to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, God will hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. you, have, you, have, you have been given a talent by God mm -hmm. that is denied to many, 
and we'll all give an account of what we did. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't shy away from condemning such. Okay. When I see it, I'll tell them, you are gifted, yes, mm -hmm. but this is wrong. Mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. not something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. So that's the context of uh, the conversation. Okay, thank you so very much for clearing that up. Now, just one more question before we get to the crunching of the numbers and, and talking about registration, because it's important. You just don't expect MCSK to have your money, but you have not registered, which I think Absolutely. we should talk about in a bit. But there ha you said mentioned about uh, Kisi. I, I <laughs> perhaps ni uyu a trend wa gospel. But I don't know if, if we can call him naive or if he did it on purpose but either way we're you know talking there is about a touch of cloud chasing uh -huh. even some of those things that you are saying uh -huh. eh? uh, if, it, it looks like the more wicked the more vulgar mm -hmm. the more profane mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. the more popular you become mm. we are normalizing evil i mm. told you valeda mm. we are normalizing mm -hmm. evil and wickedness abnormal behavior and the moment we go that way we are going to destroy our country mm -hmm. There are many societies, countries that were great, the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. in Turkey. There were many, the, including the, the French during the days of uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, mm -hmm. that crumbled and collapsed because people did not pay attention mm -hmm. to the foundation that builds the, their, their society. Mm -hmm. A society is built on morals. A society is not just a congregation of people mm -hmm. who live together. Mm -hmm. No, it is people living together with shared values and faith. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, we recognize family as the basic unity of society. Mm -hmm. And in family, we love each other, we support each other, we, we stand with each other, we uphold each other, mm -hmm. we care for the aged, we care for the people with disability. Mm -hmm. We are human. We, ex we, we exhibit love. Mm -hmm. We celebrate each other. Mm -hmm. When one is down, we stand with them. Mm -hmm. Those are the values we should promote in our music. The moment we start demonizing and normalizing, insulting, mm -hmm. cursing, mm -hmm. vulgarity, mm -hmm. we are destroying that very fabric that makes us uh, a community with shared values. Mm -hmm. So what are our shared values as Kenyans? Mm -hmm. Yeah, We need to go back to that and say, we need to promote that in our schools, mm -hmm. in our churches, in our communities. Mm -hmm. Someone who wants to uh, stand out by doing crazy things, mm -hmm. they are cloud chasing. Mm -hmm. And they are doing it so that they can get likes and views mm -hmm. on social media. But they are destroying themselves. Mm -hmm. That kind of fame is not long lasting. It's not sustainable. Yeah, it is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And you may think, yes, we may talk about you and mention your name, mm -hmm. but I will not buy that song. Mm. Music and content that sells is content that is acceptable mm -hmm. the, uh, by the family, that can be consumed in family. Mm -hmm. I can listen to it with my children, mm -hmm. I can listen to it with my parents, I can watch it with, in a mixed company, and we are not ashamed. I can play it in my car, mm -hmm. I can play it in church in a corporate event. Mm -hmm. That's how now you expand your market base mm -hmm. for your product. Because music is a product, mm -hmm. so that it becomes marketable. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it globally, products that sell, mm -hmm. they are products that are consumed by family. You got to think about your target, your market, uh, target market, and uh, do music that will endear yourself to that market. Mm -hmm. Now, if you sing a song that is very popular and it's all over social media, mm -hmm. on TikTok and YouTube and everywhere, the question you should ask yourself mm -hmm. is: Does it translate to money? Uh -huh. Are the people listening? Mm -hmm. Is it the market uh, category with money? Mm -hmm. Because if I'm a CEO, I will not play Kaskevi Baya Naoko in my family. Mm -hmm. I will not play it in my car. Mm -hmm. So, good song, mm -hmm. you may say, mm -hmm. but the people with the money are not, in, are not buying it. Mm -hmm. We know about it, but I will never buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Saru is my friend, mm -hmm. but I will never buy that song. Mm -hmm. I'm a CEO. Mm -hmm. How many could be in my category. Mm -hmm. The guys with money who could be going to an event mm -hmm. and say, Nicheze yo wimbo. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example of Mkono Abwana by the Zabron singers. Mm -hmm. Or Israel Bonyi, Zarwandis, uh, Ninasiri Naya Yesu. Mm -hmm. There are songs that will go to an event and even you say, Nicheze yo. Mm -hmm. If we have a corporate event we are celebrating here, we will say, Cheza yo. And we are all dancing. Mm -hmm. I will not ask for that song. Mm -hmm. So, the, the, I'm helping actually my sister to know mm -hmm. that the people with money 
know about the song, but they will not buy it. Mm -hmm. So what is the point of producing that music? Mm -hmm. This is your prime time. You are now at your best. Mm -hmm. And instead of producing music that will outlive your lifetime, time will be played mm -hmm. because copyright exists during your lifetime and 50 years after death. Mm -hmm. You should produce music that will sell you. Mm -hmm. Music that will outlive even you. Music that will uh, be sung, even produced in other languages, because it's good music. It mm. has no vulgarity, it has no obscenity, it has no uh, profanity. It's wholesome. If you look at songs like Jerusalem mm. or even the recent Muzabibu, you know, <laughs> a song that is good could come from nowhere. Somebody just threw that song. It was just slipping lying somewhere <laughs> idle. Threw it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And now ni <laughs> okay. So so just produce good songs. It will sell. Mm -hmm. God has his own ways. Mm -hmm. Do not go for the cloud chasing. Mm -hmm. Because yes, it could be everywhere, but it may not give you money. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, here in Kenya, some of those songs play. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, for example, uh Kaskia Vibaya started, mm -hmm. many people didn't know the meaning. Mm. Even me, I didn't know. I used to hum it. Mm. And I even used to use the phrase, Kaskia Vibaya. Mm. Okay? But when you get to know about it, you, you realize there's an issue. Mm -hmm. You're not comfortable. If you are a responsible person, you're not comfortable mm -hmm. with that kind of talk. In other words, sing for the market. Mm -hmm. Produce to make money. Mm -hmm. Don't sing for the clout. Mm -hmm. Don't sing for a name. A lot of those guys mm -hmm. from KC land, because they are now two crazy ones. <laughs> Wako Kimbia? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they are, they, are, they are just abnormal. And I'm like, I've been wondering, don't they come from families? <laughs> Valid. Would you want your father, would you, would you let your father wear diapers and, and the cord and you're cheering them? I think we are a crazy society. <laughs> don't they have families? Because I would tell him, Dad, hey, you know, don't they have a church? One of them says he's a pastor. <laughs> are there no people who can talk to them? Because if we, <laughs> unless somebody is from the bush, mm -hmm. maybe they live in the forest. Mm -hmm. But if you live with people, mm -hmm. they should be ashamed of you. I cannot imagine doing that crazy thing mm -hmm. and, uh, and I have a family. I would have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe they live in the bush. <laughs> maybe we are degenerating into the <laughs> ape <laughs> in stone age. Because how would I go home after doing that kind of thing? <laughs> So I think we are a sick society, uh -huh. and we need to start addressing that issue from the community. Mm -hmm. Wale ma chief wa uko, uyo mtu anaimbia. Mm -hmm. Wale community, ata kama ni kwa nyumba, landlord. Mm -hmm. Awe sema hii upuzi utafanya hapa. <laughs> we need to start talking to each other. Mm -hmm. We have left everybody to themselves. That's why even our children are getting into bizarre stuff mm -hmm. and being recruited. Mm -hmm. in, even into some of them into terror groups. Mm -hmm. Because we don't seem to care about each other. Mm -hmm. In a society that cares... You cannot stand here and record a song like that. You tell ngo, you want to mzima, you believe it was our toto, na wanze kuimba. Hii ngine meona siu Yesu ni siu ni tuko uji, ata naita uji. Yani wenda wazimu, madness, pure madness, and we are allowing it as normal. It's not normal. We are normalizing madness. We are normalizing obscenity and vulgarity. And with not within no time. Our children are going to copy that as a way of life. Mm -hmm. That if you want to tread, we fanya wenda wazimu. Mm. Utaona mtu anatua nguo. Mm. Utaona watu anafanya mapenzi kwa barabara. Ooh. That's where we are getting. Mm -hmm. So you want the way the police, where are the chiefs? Where, are the, where is the community? Mm -hmm. Why are we allowing this? So I think we have failed as a society. Mm -hmm. We are all sick. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I was told a while back I'm a millennial, I'm not a Gen Z, but just before my generation, you make a mistake, you don't even reach home first, everyone beats you on the way. The person Thank who you. saw you on your way to a skier, so by the time you're being beaten by your parent or your guardian, hey. you have learned lessons. What did you say your full names are? <laughs> Valentine Wamboy. Valentine Wamboy. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> you are exceptional. <laughs> Who are your parents? Ah, thank you. Thank we you. need people like you. Mm -mm. We should clap for this one. Amazing. Because a lot of young people think you and our Zim Dio Maisha. Lazima mtu wafanye vitu vituko. You unasema ku discipline. And now I love I, I, I love that way of life. Mm. Because that's a way to get to grow. I'm a CEO because I was brought up like you. Wow. Yes. Wow. I would be riding a bike. And when I see a parent, not my parent, mm. an adult, nina toka, mm. nina skuma mbaiskeli tupitane na mzazi. Mm. 
lest yani anything happens yeah wezi <laughs> ukipatikana na mzazi mm. hata kama sio mzazi wako mm. ukifanya makosa unachapo na unakubali unachapo mm. na wezi yambia mzazi wako ukienda kushtaki kwa mzazi wako unachapo tena <laughs> that's, why we, that's why we are here mm -hmm. angalia our madness mm. uone mahali wataenda mm -hmm. whether a barabara can be a sea of anything even a cattle dip committee Where? Okay. you know and then so why, why are they doing it why are we allowing it mm -hmm. you know those people should be arrested really mm for for going against societal norms mm -hmm. cuz i think they are stretching the bounds of morality mm -hmm. and decency and we need to say no mm -hmm. in other communities au ngechapwa sana wachomwe kama wachawi Okay all right now aside from that before we run out of time let's talk about uh, registering for now what yes. we believe is due to us as artists and by artists as in us wasan waimbi kuna, kuna actors kuna kitu nimesema ya muhimu by the way na nimesahau uh, ulisema sio kila msanii ambaye ni mwanachama wa MCSK uh, sio kila muimbaji yes. unajua watu wengi wanadhania ukiimba tu na unja kuja ku register yes. unja update songs zako na sisi yes. unadhania unatakiwa kulipwa hapana mm, lazima ukuwe mwanachama like a sako and take it seriously mm -hmm. update your records mm -hmm. check be checking ukiproduce wimbo unakuja una update kuna mtu wako na nyimbo mia moja na ame register nyimbo tano. Mm. Na anapiga kelele huko anasema ah bwana vale ndani amelipo pesa mingi kuliko mm. mimi. Wewe unaweza kuwa uko na 15 na wewe sio maarufu sana mm. kama yeye mm -hmm. lakini yeye ako na 200 na ame update tano. Mm -hmm. Sasa wewe uko na 20 na ume update zote. So it's not just enough to register I am a first one I am an artist I have to yes. also register what I'm yes. producing. Exactly. Your, mm. This is your work. This is your trade. This mm. is your stock in trade hii ndio mali yako ndio nduka lako ndio shamba lako sasa we mwenyewe ukivuna si unaweka mind yako vizuri mm -hmm. unahakisha umepeleka sokoni aingipeleki sokoni mm -hmm. aikai tu kwa shamba injivune mm -hmm. so lazima ujivunie kwa msanii mm -hmm. na ujue kama uko na talanda ya usanii mm -hmm. unjiunge na MCSK manufaa ni mengi it is mm -hmm. not just about the money it is conversations like this mm -hmm. we normally have even agns wow. we normally have meetings mm -hmm. unakumbuka juzi tulikuwa safari park to kufanya distribution mm -hmm. lakini tunaleta wageni hata kutoka ngambo mm -hmm. wanakuja kuongea na wasanii wetu tuna promote kolambo mm -hmm. uh, collabs na watu, watu wa nchi zingine mm -hmm. uh, vile vile tunaokota kwa mataifa ya nje you know your music could be being played in jamaica in mm -hmm. us in uk mm -hmm. You cannot go to all those countries to collect for yourself. Mm -hmm. Sasa tuna sign zile zinaitwa reciprocal agreements. Mm -hmm. Wao wanaokota huko mm -hmm. kwa wasanii wetu wa Kenya mm -hmm. wanatutumia hiyo pesa sisi tunaokota hapa mm -hmm. kwa wasanii wao kwa mfano hapa Kenya nyimbo za Tanzania uchezwa sana. Mm -hmm. Uliona yule mwimbaji yule yule publisher tulimlipa pesa mingi sana the highest ana this year is a lady called Rema Lugose. Mm -hmm. Ana represent Diamond Platinum. Uh, wengine anaitwa wa, 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 wa singers na wengine waisani wa nje kwa maana nyimbo zao huchezwa sana hapa mm. si unajua nyimbo za diamond huchezwa mm. sana mm. nyimbo za zabron singers huchezwa sana mm. media ya Kenya broadcasters wa Kenya hucheza sana nyimbo za nje mm -hmm. watu wengi wanatulaumu wanasema hey bwana mmelipa huyu na muna, nyimbo za nje ndizo mnatambua sio sisi si tunalipa mm -hmm. kulingana na catalogs ambazo ama log sheets ambazo mm -hmm. tumepewa na broadcasting stations mm -hmm. it is you who supply and show which songs you played in mm -hmm. your station mm -hmm. and they belong to who and then we pay them mm -hmm. so if you play more of diamond platinum against the local content quota mm -hmm. basi una promote watu wenje kama diamond na wengine mm -hmm. hapa Kenya nyimbo za Tanzania huchezwa sana Nigeria South Africa na kadhalika mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tunawaokotea pia lakini nyimbo zetu kuna mali kwingine pia uchezwa mm -hmm. okay kuna nyimbo zetu uchezwa pia kule Tanzania vile mm. vile Uganda, South Africa na kadhalika na pia sisi tunawakotea. Mm -hmm. Nao kwa wakati huo wa digital environment mm -hmm. unapata kwa majimbo zetu ziko kila mahali mm -hmm. na ukiangalia Spotify, mm -hmm. Mudundo, uh, Boomplay, uh, YouTube ukiangalia hizo digital platforms nyimbo zetu zinachezwa sana na wasanii wale wamejiunga na sisi watapata pesa mingi sana we are trying everything possible to ensure that we strengthen our bilaterals with our countries because our music is going global mm -hmm. and our youths are very talented and they are tech savvy 
they are able to use technology to promote their content and we are going to encourage more of that mm -hmm. so that we can uh, instead of selling your music to the 53 or 55 million Kenyans, mm -hmm. you have the globe as your market mm -hmm. through digital platforms. Okay. This digital economy has done a lot. It has I'm opened you, a yes, very, yes, very it's the big future. avenues. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm hearing from you is, first of all, Msani Ajitu Mekidogo, because you, be you're sad. not responsible for their marketing, individual marketing. What you can do is now reap the benefits of, of them being known and them being played. Yes. But also there was a time DJs were under attack or under siege, let me yeah, say, call siege. it like that. <laughs> yeah, because now uh, apparently we're only they are only playing a certain genre of music and yeah. the people outside, but it's the consumers who ask for it. Yes, yes. Consumer is king. Yes, you know, and you are the consumer. Yes. It's what the consumer wants. Mm -hmm. Even now, uh, the way people are making noise about us paying Rema, who is a, represent, who is a publisher representing foreign musicians, mm -hmm. is the consumer who is asking for that content. Yes. So, uh, really, even when you go to church, mm -hmm. we sing a mela, we sing uh, foreign music Jaya. in the church. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So again, Jaira, it is yeah, yeah. Uh, you, know, music. you may not even understand what it means. Mm. It's a Nigerian song, but it's here mm -hmm. and playing everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think ultimately, if you produce good content, let the market determine. Mm -hmm. Let the market decide. Mm -hmm. The forces of demand and supply mm -hmm. is what we apply. And if we play more music, if mm -hmm. Kenyans want more foreign music, so be it. Mm -hmm. But there must be a law. Mm -hmm. And there must be an intentional, deliberate uh, push mm -hmm. to play more local content mm -hmm. if we really want to build our country and build our artists. Mm -hmm. Unless that country has a reciprocal agreement. Mm -hmm. So this is what we should do. Mm -hmm. If we find Tanzania is playing, we are playing more of Tanzanian music, we should demand that our music is also played there mm -hmm. or by law say you cannot play more than this percentage. Mm -hmm. Unless we are that intentional, mm -hmm. then we are going, as a government, we are going to be responsible and we are going to be leaving our musicians to be ex uh, exploited while we are using our market, our technology, our frequencies and our national resources to build musicians of other countries. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Uh, you can't determine for me what food I will eat. Mm. If I go to a hotel and I want Italian, I will eat Italian. I want Chinese, I will eat Chinese, mm -hmm. Japanese and so on. But there must be an intentional push mm -hmm. for us to consume our products. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we are doing it in other uh, sectors, we need to do the same mm -hmm. in music. All right. Just so you know, guys, White 54 as a channel, we have actually a show that only plays Kenyan music. It's called the so? E-Circuit. Yes, it plays on Saturdays from around 9 a.m., if I'm not wrong. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So wow. White 54 is a place to be. We really yes, are trying to... Yes, you are compliant. We, we really are. 100% local. 100%. I and should be here. Why don't you make me part of your channel? You see? You see? Yeah, mm -hmm. can I be just coming for free? Dr. After this. 100%? 100%. Yes. Yes, on Saturday mornings wow. until around 12. Yes. 100% Kenya. Yes, yes. We have another one that has uh, East African only, but that also includes Kenya. Mm -hmm. But 100% Kenyan, Saturday morning. Wow. Yes. So I imagine the DJ has to be very creative yes. to only play yes. Kenyan music for four hours. So it's possible. I and you it. enjoy. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this is not in your docket, but this is something I'd, I'd really like to uh, pick your brain on. So we have uh, the Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports Cabinet Secretary of Mapuna Mamba. Yes, a uh, couple of days ago was at the 66th uh, annual thingy for Grammys and it's something that he wants to kind of merge the creative industry like he, he wants it's, it's via Talanta Hela but it's also affecting you know the creative economy and all that so do you think this is good news for us as creatives in the long run? Absolutely mm -hmm. I think uh, if there's a company sector in this country or with in this government who knows his job it's C.S. Abamu Namwamba Kuna wengine clueless kabisa, hawaelewi. Hawaelewi, especially the complicated, uh, mm. because this is a very, it's a youth-oriented area. Mm -hmm. I have, I, I, I'm a journalist myself, mm -hmm. and I have, I've, I've, I've studied media uh, studies up to PhD level, and I still find it difficult to understand. I cannot imagine someone who has no clue, mm. who is not a musician, mm. and they have not studied this area, 
how difficult it would be for mm. them to comprehend issues of intellectual property mm. and copyright and resonate with the situation. Mm -hmm. Abab Das is youthful in nature mm -hmm. and uh, you know by his education and exposure he quite comprehends and uh, commands this docket very well mm -hmm. and I think in many ways he has opened up new opportunities and brought in new visitors into the ecosystem of, mm -hmm. uh, of, of the creative economy mm -hmm. and I think uh, what he has done is to uh, broaden the, the, the sphere of influence and market for the Kenyan uh, musicians and artists through the Emmys and collaborations mm. that is uh, is doing and opening the market and, uh, and, and the collaboration between Kenyan artists and uh, other artists from abroad, mm -hmm. particularly using the, uh, the, the, the digital environment. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, to that extent, we really applaud him for what he has done. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good way. It's a, it's a, it's a great thing for Kenya. And I think uh, as artists, mm -hmm. uh, artists should be very happy to have C.S. Abab Namwamba mm -hmm. in charge of the creative economy mm -hmm. and youth affairs mm -hmm. because he, he understands the docket. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so very much. Would you happen to have any parting words? Would you like to tell the youth something? But we've already decided you're going to be coming. Yes, yes. On a regular. First of all, to, com to comment <laughs> KBC and why you why why two five four thank uh, you. station? Thank you. For so much. you've said on Saturdays you have a channel that plays one hundred percent local yes. content. Yes. I, 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 th I think we need to applaud you and give you a letter, SMCSK, ah. for promoting local content. Ah. I think there should be a certificate that uh -huh. recognizes that. Mm -hmm. You need to be applauded for doing that. We want more channels and mm -hmm. more media houses to play local content. There is no other way. It is in the law. It's in the regulations by Communications Authority of Kenya. Mm -hmm. But many media houses do not uh, uh, comply mm -hmm. with the 75 percent right now should be going to eight even more mm. uh, local content and a lot of our music uh, is not marketed you realize some music you just need to give that artist a chance mm. just need to play their music that's true uh just need to open that chance and they know if you bring your music we'll play it mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll let the market know there's mm -hmm. a song mm -hmm. uh a lot of artists were built through this uh, station and through this organization, uh, from the Voice of Kenya days mm -hmm. to, you know, when it became KBC, a national broadcaster, a lot of people through Sing and Shine, the Joy Bringers mm -hmm. that were started here, mm -hmm. uh, emerged from those platforms. And I'm very happy to see that, where, you know, in this century, you are still finding relevance and channels that resonate with building, budding artists and mm -hmm. upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. We need to focus more on the upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. And we need to bring discipline and, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, pride to our own culture mm -hmm. through channels like this mm -hmm. that give uh, more preference to local content. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I commend you. Thank and you. I look forward to working with you to ensure that we promote our artists and give them a platform to showcase their talent. Yes, please. All right. I, I feel so pumped. Like this day has started out so well. Thank you for coming, Dr. Ari. You're most welcome, Valerie. All right. Now I must uh, put this to a close. Uh, thank you one more time. Asante. Uh, congratulations, e Circuit, <laughs> as a unit, but also Y254 channel as a whole. And of course, all the people that make it happen. Now, please do not go away. The show is not over yet. Remember, please interact with us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 underscore channel on X and them. And please, if you take nothing away from this, please remember to register as an MCSK uh, member and please keep updating all your product that is Kamo Kona Nimbo 15 eh, all of them 15 and then please do your due diligence don't expect a Daktari to be paying you just for that there are other streams the other avenue streams that you should be looking into tap into the digital environment right now right hashtag is when the morning will be right back